Hi there and welcome to the vlog. It's another perfect day for landscape photography. Any day it's perfect for landscape photography. There are days that are bad, but if you know where to go and what to look for, I think every day and every place has something to offer for landscape photography. <laughs> Right now the fall is at its end and this means the leaves have fallen or the leaves that are still on the tree have a dark brown color and usually this not create an interesting image. You can search for places that offer contrast, that offer interesting compositions with elements of different colors uh, in the same shot. You'll know exactly what I mean when I get to the place where I want to go. Because the leaves have fallen, uh, the forest has a tint of really dark, dark red. A brown go that goes to red. And this doesn't look interesting, but if you have other elements next to that, dark red that create contrast I think it it can lead to interesting images so we'll have to see I will explore the forest that is around me also we will exit in a panoramic point I know that on this period of time because of the cold we will have this dark brown at the base then we'll have dark green the pine trees then we'll have some groups of large trees with beautiful yellow and then in the upper part of the mountain there will be some snow. The only minus is that I have no clouds in the sky but it's a really small minus. You know that song of Leonard Cohen? There is a crack in everything, that's how the light gets in. This is what I'm witnessing right now. I have to take this shot. The light moved so quickly that I've lost it in that particular place. So I'm leaving my gear here and trying to follow the sun ray because I really, really want that shot. I'm really glad that I managed to capture that sun ray going through the forest and not only capturing its path, its trail, its mark into the forest, but I also had the chance of capturing a tree with some leaves into the light and nothing else or everything else into darkness. It created such a beautiful contrast that I think this day it's going to be great just, just by that photo. reach the spot from where I want to shoot but I will take a quick break for some hot cup of tea during this cold moment I think that a hot cup of tea with you it's perfect Forgot to put lemon in the tea. 
now I always think clear or better in these situations when I'm all alone in nature and I received questions if, if I'm not afraid of being out there all alone I'm not <laughs> if you are afraid of walking alone into nature you I think you can't be a nature or a landscape photographer and I also think that while you are by yourself in nature then you can experiment the real you because your way of thinking and moving changes dramatically knowing that you are all alone and there's no one around you but in time you get used to it and you realize that wild animals have nothing to do with you time to move on That is the hill where I have to be. As I told you, you can see different floors of vegetation and also that yellow spot. And there are also some yellow spots over here on the ridge. Also, there are some interesting rock formations it was a good call coming here and now I will start taking my photos and this will be it for today. When I'm looking at this panoramic view behind me are different uh, compositions of shapes of light, darkness, light, darkness uh, the contrast between yellow, dark brown, and dark green and the rock formation. You may already know from previous videos that whenever I see something like this I take a panoramic shot of the entire place and then I move closer and closer. Now depending on the size of your subject these close-ups can mean different things. I'm not a macro photographer, I'm not attracted to it, but I like doing close-ups, especially close-ups of nature, especially close-ups when you have those alternation of light and dark. This was it for today. I hope you like this video. I hope you like the you like the photos. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and share it with your friends. Until next time, keep on photographing. It's the only way that you can get better. Thanks for watching and bye bye.